Hello guys. So I made this circuit design where if the battery is destroyed, the first set of generators kick in automatically to provide power for your turrets for two hours. And after two hours, when the first set of generators ran out of fuel, the second set of generators kick in automatically to keep providing power for two more hours. Let me just show you how it works. So we have the battery providing power and if we destroy it the first generators kick in to provide power for turrets and then if we destroy the first set of generators the second generators kick in and the turrets still work. Now I'm gonna show you how to build this monstrosity. We have a basic setup here where Two wind turbines are feeding into a battery and the output is going to a spitter and the thing with spitters is if there's only two outputs connected the spitter divides the power by half and not by third. The first half of the power is going to our switch and a spitter inside a loot room and the spitter is going to three switches and then to three turrets. And the reason why we use switches is because you need to be able to turn the turrets off to suck down with more ammo. The second power is going to another loot room with the same setup, going to three turrets. The reason we have the ore switch and it's better inside loot room is because if they were inside your generator room or the battery room and if one gets destroyed then your turrets would shut off. So it only makes sense to put them in your loot rooms. Okay, now to show you how to build the generator room. For the generator setup, you need five electrical branches, two blockers, one root combiner, one ore switch, one splitter, four generators, two small batteries, two boxes, and a sleeping bag. So place the batteries in this orientation. So the cabling faces you. Place two batteries. Two small boxes, so you can put your excess low grade. And then a sleeping bag named generator room. So if you think a raid is gonna last more than four hours, you can spawn in your generator room, stack your generators with more low grade, and then keep fighting. Okay, next we we have to disconnect this power and then put two electrical branches and then connect them like so. The power goes in here, the power out on the branch and then the power out goes in the or switch like so. This allows us to branch two signals from the main power line. Next, get a blocker and under branch. Hook to left side of first branch. To the side of the blocker like so and hook the second branch to your battery to your battery powering like so then hook the power out of your battery to the power in of the blocker and then the power out connects to a branch and then the power out from your branch goes into the force start of your first set of generators. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up the bed because it's making it hard to connect stuff. Okay, now we need a get another branch and a or switch. Then connect your, the power out of this generator to 
the branch branch to the or switch and or switch to the other or switch in your loot room connect this battery's power out to the or switch as well place the root combiner connect these two batteries to the root combiner and then root combiner to the R switch in the other loot room place the splitter a blocker and another branch set this branch's power to 3 guys very important it has to be 3 connect this branch to your splitter splitter to your battery's input and get a second cable from the splitter going to the side of your blocker take the battery power output go into the blocker like to your branch and your branch to the force start of these other two generators put back your sleeping bag in the generator room and you are done uh, one thing though the second battery has to be completely empty for it to work um, when you connect to the blocker it it starts draining it will take about five minutes to drain and when it drains it's good to go and there you have it that's the generator room so let's just check if it works I'm gonna disconnect the battery oh shit we forgot to put in the fuel so let's just quickly do that okay now I'm gonna disconnect the battery and first set of generators kick them now I'm gonna turn them off and then the second set of generators kick in and then the cars keep on working to reset the system just turn off the generators and let the battery drain out and then that's it so that was the build guys I hope you liked it if you see any flaws in my design or any potential upgrades please let me know in the comments and please consider subscribing as I have other advanced circuit builds coming up real soon. Thank you for watching and see you next time.